write a C++ program to implement multiple inheritance as shown in figure, include constructor to initialize data members, and method to display details. Using array of employee info objects, display details of two employees. So in this program, we have to totally create three class. Employee and EMP union are base class. And by using two base class, we have to create one derived class, which is EMP info. So EMP info is having two parent class, which is employee and EMP union. So it is an example for multiple inheritance where in which one derived class is having more than one parent. So in this example, EMP info class is having two parent class. One is employee class, another one is EMP union. So first we create a class employee, one independent class. Similarly, we create one more independent class, which is EMP union. The third class, which is the next class, which is EMP info. The next class is EMP info, which is derived from both the class employee and EMP union. So we write class EMP info colon public employee comma public EMP union. So EMP info is a class which is inherited from both the class, both the class employee and EMP union with public derivation. Now in the employee class, we have two data members. The first one is EMP ID of integer type. Next one is character array for storing EMP name. In the public section, we are including the constructor for employee class with the same name as the employee class. It's a parameterized constructor. We take two parameter for initializing the value of EMP ID and EMP name. So first parameter is named as ID, second is an array of character, pointer variable, name. So the value of ID has to be stored inside data member EMP ID. So we write EMP ID equals ID. And the value of name should get stored into EMP name. Since it is an array of characters, we have to use strcpy method for copying one string into another. So the value which is present in the variable name will get copied into EMP name. Since we are using strcpy method, we have to include the header file string.h. So we have written hash include string.h. Next in the employee class, we are writing a method display method, which is used to display the details of employee. The name of the method is disp employee. This method is used to display the details of employee class. There are two details of employee class, which is EMP ID and EMP name. Both EMP ID and EMP name will be displayed by using cout statement inside disp employee method. So our first class employee class is having two data members EMP ID and EMP name. There is one constructor parameterized to constructor to initialize the data member and a public method this employee for displaying the data member values EMP ID and EMP name. Next, we are writing the next class, the second class, which is named as EMP union. There is one data member inside EMP union, which is member ID, which is an array of character for storing member ID of EMP union. In the public section, first we are including a parameterized constructor for initializing the value of its data member member ID. So EMP union takes one parameter, a character array. So the value of MID should get copied into 
data member member ID. So we are using strcpy member ID comma MID. So the content of MID will get copied into member ID data member. Next, we are writing a display method for EMP union class, which is disp union, which will display the data member of EMP union. So we display member ID by using cout statement. Member ID is a data member of EMP union class. So by using cout statement, we display member ID inside this union function. So second class EMP union is having one data member member ID, a constructor for initializing the member ID and this union for displaying the value of member ID. Now our derived class EMP info derived from both class employee and employee union, employee and EMP union. EMP info class there is only one data member which is named as basic salary. In the public section we are including the constructor. Now EMP info sh should be capable of all informations from employee class and EMP union. So while we are creating an object of EMP info, we should be capable of assigning the values to EMP info, employee class and EMP union. EMP info is having total four parameters out of which Two parameter values we pass into employee class and one value MID we pass into EMP union class. The value of salary, the last parameter we assign into basic salary data member. Then we write a display method. So in the display method, first we display the data member coming from the parent class. So there are two parent class for EMP info class. There are two parent class for EMP info class. The first one is employee. So in order to display the data member of employee class, we have a method disp employee. Next, another parent class we call display union. And then we display the salary data of EMP info class. So inside the display method, we call disp employee from employee class and disp union from EMP union class. And then we display data member basic salary. Inside the main function, we create two object for EMP info. It's an array of object. So we declare OBJ of two. We are passing the object values. Uh, the values need to be passed into the constructor. So it totally takes four values. ID, name, MID, and salary. So first one, the first set of values 101, XYZ, Mumbai, and 20,000 is for OBJ0. And next set of values 102, PQR, Cochin, and 25,000 is the data for obj1. So there are totally two objects, obj0 and obj1. The first set of values will get passed into obj0 and the second set of values will get passed into the constructor of obj1. So these values will get passed into emp info constructor and from emp info constructor, the first two values ID and name will get passed into employee constructor and the third value which is MID will get passed into EMP union constructor and the last parameter which is salary will get assigned into basic salary data member of employee information class, EMP info class.
We can call display method by using both the object obj0 and obj1. So we call obj0 dot display and obj1 dot display. So it will display the data member of the respective object. Execute and see the program output.